Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for electric vehicle news and updates. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more similar content like this. To manufacture good electric cars, world-class infrastructure is required. Tesla, which is on the rise, has been expanding its production facilities throughout the world to meet Elon Musk's lofty goals and rising demand. The $10 billion Giga Texas plant is the company's most recent project. What does Texas have to offer you? How big is it? And what kind of automobiles will Tesla build there? Let us show you around Tesla's new $10 billion gigafactory. Tesla has grown from humble beginnings in Fremont, California to become the world's largest electric car manufacturer in this video. Tesla shipped over 930,000 cars in 2021, nearly double the figure for 2020, and it has to aim a 50% boost in output. His team, on the other hand, performed significantly better than he had imagined. This year, Musk has set an even higher goal for his employees, requiring them to create 1.5 million electric vehicles. Tesla's automobiles are produced in massive factories known as gigafactories. Musk popularized the term, but it has no meaning for massive factories that produce EV batteries in order to produce additional cars. Tesla requires more power plants, which it has been building at breakneck speed over the last four years. Three new Tesla manufacturing facilities have been added. Indeed, it appears like Musk has become addicted to developing gigafactories and that he enjoys it more than producing vehicles. The first expansion took place outside of the United States, with Musk declaring Giga Shanghai open. Tesla's cars are speedy, but they have nothing on the team who built the Shanghai facility for the electric car maker. The $2 billion project was finished in record time with the team going from permitting to final electric work in just 168 days. Tesla has been dubbed a Chinese unicorn by the Financial Times. It was the country's first foreign business to own an automobile manufacturing plant. Holy. Previously, the government compelled foreign manufacturers to form a joint venture with a domestic firm or face a 25% import tax. The facility launched with much hoopla in December 2019, complete with a staff wedding proposal and a display event. Three electric cars from the first model, Musk even performed a dance routine. As Tesla sends automobiles to other regions of the world, the plant is becoming increasingly important to the company. The huge plant has the capacity to handle over 600,000 cars every year. Gigabot Allen in Germany was the second Tesla factory which Musk opened this year and danced again. Musk was irritated by this since he was fighting on numerous fronts. Despite the project's enormous benefits, he had to fight environmental groups who wanted it canceled. Musk also had to deal with a lengthy governmental approval process, which slowed down the entire operation. However, beginning with the Model Y, the factory is suddenly humming with activity. Customers in several parts of Europe have already received Gigabyte LIN vehicles. Giga Berlin will be able to produce half a million automobiles per year when fully operational. Tesla, on the other hand, is building a battery plant directly across from the existing site, where the new 4680 batteries that will power the model will be manufactured. Why Tesla's investment is already changing the town in which it is located. More than 10,000 employment will be created immediately, with more created indirectly. For example, a lithium processing company from Canada has begun construction on a factory in the area in the hopes of supplying Tesla. Tesla's third expansion took place in its native nation, and it was a big one in Texas. The facility, which is located in Austin, Texas, spans over 2,500 acres along the Colorado River and houses approximately 10 million square feet of manufacturing space. Tesla will invest $10 billion in Giga Texas over time, according to Musk, and employ 20,000 people directly. The corporation has already invested $1.1 billion, but plans to spend much more. Musk has even relocated Tesla's headquarters from California to Giga Texas, demonstrating the importance of this new project. After a bidding war between various governments for the hosting rights, 
Tesla began construction in July 2020. Despite a valiant effort from Oklahoma, Texas eventually prevailed. The business organized a massive party for the inauguration event, which was dubbed Cyber Rodeo after one of the cars that would be produced there. You guessed correctly, the Cyber Truck. An electric pickup truck is said to have received over a million pre-orders. As a result, Tesla requires as much area as possible in order to produce the vehicle as quickly as possible. The Cyber Rodeo drew 15,000 attendees, according to Musk, making it the largest party ever. During his speech, a very ecstatic Musk disclosed the plant's massive size. Giga Texas is actually taller than Dubai's iconic Burj Khalifa Hotel, but only after it has been turned on its side. 194 billion hamsters could potentially be included in the proposals. Musk remarked that California was running out of space and that we needed a new location to expand. And there's no place like Texas, he remarked, honoring both the state and Travis County in particular. He has several reasons to be grateful to the county, which provided Tesla with nearly $60 million in tax breaks. The county is even considering preparing its roadways to deal with the projected surge in traffic as more workers and their families relocate to the area. Aside from this hybrid rocket, Tesla's Gigafactory will create a semi truck and a Model Y. Tesla will also produce the Roadster Supercar and the Optimus Robot in Texas will manufacture the new battery, which will be part of the Model Y's structure. Giga Texas features a large stamping area, as well as areas for casting, painting, driving, unit production, and general assembly. Because everything is under one roof, Musk claims that production is easier. Of course, raw materials could be shipped in one end and finished cars could roll off the assembly line the other. It's a lot more complicated than that. But the point is that a plan like Giga Texas simplifies the process. To reduce costs and production time, Tesla will create entire car bodywork and only a few components. This means that instead of more than 70 pieces, the entire chassis will be made up of only two. The company has been able to accomplish this with the usage of Giga Presses in recent years. Tesla has been aggressively investing in alloy casting technologies in order to enable larger casted parts, which will greatly ease manufacturing. Several Giga Presses, the world's largest casting machines, were purchased by the company. These massive multi million dollar machines are designed by either an Italian engineering firm or a company in the United States. In 2020, Tesla's first Gigapress, which was installed at the Fremont factory, became online. The machine, which has a clamping force of 55,000 to 61,000 kilonewtons, Giga Texas at the time, was the first of its type. It now has at least four Gigapresses in operation and is already producing Model Y bodies. In fact, several Tesla Model Y automobiles have since been observed on Giga Texas premises. It's hardly unexpected that Tesla has already begun construction on its new facility, as it will be critical to the EV maker's production targets for this year and beyond. Tesla has begun building Model Ys in a variety of hues, including blue, black, white, and red, as its Gigafactory in Texas. Midnight Silver, Metallic, Giga is the only hue missing from Tesla's new headquarters. The first Model Ys built in Texas will have 4680 battery cells. However, during its Q1 2022 earnings call, Tesla stated that it aims to deploy 2170 sales in its Austin production lines later this year. Meanwhile, during its Cyber Rodeo opening party, Tesla presented the first Model Y sedans from Giga Texas, but only to Tesla employees. The structural battery pack was included in the new vehicles, which had 4680 in-house sales and single-piece front body castings. Testing the first production from a new plant on the staff is a good idea because they are less likely to make a fuss if something goes wrong. What good is a superb manufacturing factory if no one works there? Many roles at Giga Texas are now available, and Tesla is boosting up its efforts to fill them. By reaching out to the next generation, Tesla is playing it smart. Employees from the company came to Dell Valley Independent School District to give students a free resume building session in preparation for their future careers including a possible job gig in Texas in 2021 at Tesla. Dell Valley also established a student training program for high school students interested in working at the Gigafactory in Texas. Tesla's factory in Austin is about five miles away from the school district. 
Because of Tesla and so many of my classmates, I have so many options here. It's difficult not to be fascinated when it's so close. According to Chief Workforce Officer Dale Valley, ESD Alex Tors, Senior Tiffany Rowe Rojas briefed Spectrum about the use of one. Last year, Tesla hired 46 students. Taurus is collaborating with Tesla and the Dell Valley Independent School District to develop programs and curricula that will teach children the skills they will need in the future. Tesla is even willing to sponsor some of the kids for the remainder of their schooling in order to prepare them for a job at the facility. Let us know what you think about Tesla's Texas gig. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on our latest uploads. And lastly, leave a like as it will really help our channel out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.